what we're back in, as you can see, the screen is populated with Shane McMahon. And I've gotten a lot of demands for Shane. It's a, it's a SmackDown feud this week. Um, and we're going to talk about how to use Shane in a competitive manner here. Um, clearly with the heels, as you can see down below, it heals almost 27K um, every three turns. That's ideal for a blitz. But unfortunately, the way this game is, it's about quickness. And 27K is nice, but it's not going to be a catastrophic help. So really, the only way to win with Shane McMahon is to go with a yellow, yellow, blue. Um, the blue is a quick charge. The yellow will decrease black gem damage. And I think you want to target, as crazy as it sounds, let's target somebody like Baylor who, or Bray, who relies heavily on that. Plus, we get the, we get the bonus. Now, trainer-wise, here's what I'm going with. I'm going to decrease that black even further. And we're going to go with Big E, even though, as I've brought up many times before, the, the finisher is glitched. It should be 27K. It won't work. It doesn't work. I have no idea why. Um, the glitch hasn't been fixed. I brought it to Scopely's attention at least six months ago and even sent them screenshots before and after. Um, but maybe this video will help if we end up doing it. Um, so obviously it'll bring up that low blow up a lot because we'll be able to do that move a few times. The idea here is we want to get those black gems down as low as we possibly can. So let's go to versus. And unfortunately, the video came out before. So, and you can take a look here. And I actually did beat and won with him against a Baylor. But those are the breaks. And we're going to, let's take on a Bray here. Okay. Let's see what Bray can do. And see if we can really get the breath of this thing going. All right, so similar, what we're going to want to do is we want to get a blue match. So this will be helpful, and this should be able to knock out the blues for him at least. So here we go, boom, boom. And that gets a start in the right direction. Now, the name of the game is gonna be to get his yellows where we need it to be. So here we go, it's a nice nine charge, boom. Already the blacks are decreased. So that's a positive. Additionally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to block him here. So let's go with a black here, or, uh, and we got the yellow as a result. Things are working out well. This is one of these we like to call a good board. So, you know, it's I'm not going to take any credit here, but unfortunately, boom, it, the board quickly turned into a bad board. <laughs> 27K. Now, we have a lot, so let's try to waste. I don't really want to use that that purple, but it looks like we're probably going to have to. Um, I don't want to do it together. So, you know, we will do it together because then the blue at least will drop for us to work with next turn. So we have a finisher open. I think it's still premature to drop it. Um, we have nine. He's going to turn the purples. We got three purples. Again, when you're dealing with this, I think we probably what we want to do here is we want to, at the very least, maybe maybe do a block of some sort, even if it's not a direct block. So, you know, I could take the blues here and then, you know, let the chips fall where they may. I would just much rather get rid of the purple um, and then take our chances otherwise. So he's going to hit us here. As expected, it was sizable, but it's not catastrophic due to, you know, the damage here. Boom, boom. And, you know, we're doing okay. I could tag in Baron, but, I mean, for the 
for the purpose of this, I'm going to leave it alone. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to hit him with the finisher. It's not going to finish him, but what it'll do is it'll at least hopefully let him use some of these black gems that clear off the board a little bit. So now he's going to do his finisher. I do have the tag in play, so I can use that if I need to. And, you know, really, let's just get rid of these blacks. Because, I mean, I think that's what we want to have happen. And that sounded absolutely awful. But I think that's what we want to do. Let's take a look. The blue here. Blue's about 28. Let's, let's do this. Okay. I think here's the strategy. We're going to go with this. Now, there's a lot of ways to go here. He could tag in Cena if he really wants to, but I think we want to play this out a little bit further. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do the four across. It should hurt him real hard. And let's take a look at this. There we go. My battery's not cooperating, but maybe this will. And Bray kicks out. Now he's going to tag in Cena. Who's sitting at a very nice rate over there. And, I mean, we survived. I mean, I'm not overly happy about what happened here, but we survived. Cena's choose move is in play. We're going to hit him with what we got here. And uh, poor Corbin's going to get tagged in. And none of his moves are really ready to roll, but we'll take the black right now. And uh, we'll see what Cena's Choose has in store for us. <clears throat> Even with the Nexus, which will decrease, which basically has the same effect that we just had with, with Baylor, um, it, it still should be enough to get us to kick out of this. And, you know, let's trying to waste as much as I can here and not waste it and we're clear okay so at this point this could be really nasty we're gonna Cena should be uh, about as dead as a doornail even if he's gonna hit me with this so it really can outlast your your opponent but you can see the the obvious problems with Shane where you know we hit the move a few times and it's just not gonna get us there and you know it's not gonna get us over the goal line, um, but it can make you survive, and as many of you probably did watch my uh, my Corbin video, you can just see the funness that is Corbin in terms of all these multiplier gems, and I should put them, there's only three, I mean, we'll, but there should be a, uh, a nice little cascade coming if we can, and that's it. So, I mean, we live to fight another day, but you can just kind of see some of the issues with, um, with Shane as it goes. And, you know, he made it through. We didn't lose. I mean, that's, I consider that a positive. Um, but, you know, he does have some issues, plain and simple. You know, I mean, it's, there's really no way around it other than that, where he takes, you know, he takes a good time and... You know, it's it's a situation where you need to almost play defensively with Shane because if you don't, you're going to be in that situation where, you know, you're sitting here with only, you know, 22,000 in, in health and, you know, a tag because he's just not built to have the firepower to beat another gold in, in five turns. So, I mean, he's fun to use, as you could see, but at the end of the day, you know, he's not going to take you over the goal line. I would strongly advise not making the mistake that I did and, um, you know, learning from my mistakes and keeping them at a, 